today's video is going to be a full face of first impressions, but not just any first impressions. I am testing out Rare Beauty for you guys today. I am so, so, so excited about Rare Beauty. If you guys don't know, Selena Gomez just launched her own beauty brand, and I believe it launches today in Sephora stores. I don't know if it's exclusive to just Sephora, but I know it launches in Sephora September 3rd and I think I'm posting this video on September 3rd. So these products are already available and I'm really excited to film this video because Rare Beauty actually sent me this package in the mail the other day. No, this video is not sponsored. They are not expecting me to film this. They didn't ask me to film this. I just knew that this is something a lot of you guys wanna see. Like the minute Rare Beauty was even announced, I got so many DMs from you guys telling me to review this when it launched. So that's what I'm doing for you guys today. And I know there are so many brands on the market right now, especially recently, there are so many new brands that are coming out, but I really, really love that Rare Beauty is like an advocate for mental health. If you guys didn't know, they're like donating, I think it's over like a million dollars a year or something like that. It's like 1% of sales throughout the year to mental health. They have like this Rare Beauty fund and I really love that they're doing that because I don't think there are many brands, not many big brands that are like really pushing the message for mental health and I really like that she does and this brand does. So I am very excited to test these products. I mean, I already did. I just finished testing these products out. This is the look I'm doing. It's a very simple look, I know, but I really wanted to just test the products and just give you my first impressions on everything. And so yeah, I don't wanna keep rambling. So let, let's do this. If you wanna see a full face of rare beauty, Keep watching. All right, let's get started. I am so excited to film this video. I am so excited to film this. I need to put lip balm on and I'm using the Rare Beauty Dewy Lip Balm in the shade Honor, which is clear, but my lips are super, super chapped right now. Mmm, that smells so familiar. I don't know what it is, but I like it. So I actually got really carried away when I got the Rare Beauty package in the mail and I pretty much unboxed everything and took it out of the box packaging. Almost everything. I do have a few things that are still in the box. I know you guys don't care about it, but I still want to show you like the box it comes in. I just, I got so excited. I was just like taking everything out and throwing everything away and I was like, oh my God, no, I want to do a full face video. So I saved what I could. <laughs> so this is pretty much a full face of first impressions. I have tested out a few of these things, not going to lie, because I just got too excited. <laughs> but the majority of the products I have not tested out yet, so I am... Very excited, have I mentioned that? How excited I am? But I'm testing out the majority of these products for the very first time with you guys right now. So let's do this. So I'm gonna test out the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer. Love the name of that. It's a weightless universal gel primer enriched with ultra fine pearls for a lit from within glow. That sounds amazing. I don't know why I started to shake that, but let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, that feels really nice. I get so excited when I'm testing out products from a new brand. I love seeing new formulas. It's so exciting. Wow, that's, that's pearly. It leaves your face with a really pretty glow, but there is a fine shimmer that's left on your face. Like if you look up close in a mirror, you can see that very, very, very fine reflective shimmer. And I mean, it's very fine. It's not anything that I think would bother you, especially when you put foundation on top of this, you definitely won't see that. It's not like a really moisturizing, hydrating primer. It's just to make the skin appear glowy, but it does feel nice on the skin. I'm going in with foundation now. This is the, it uh, doesn't have a name. It's just the foundation. I, I know it has a name, but I threw away the box and they only have the name on the box. But this is what it looks like. And I'm going in with the shade 190W. And I'm gonna be using their Liquid Touch Multitasking Sponge. It's a plush sponge with a diamond shaped tip for a precise application and customizable coverage. This sponge is so weird. I am so interested to try this because when I started to run it under water and squeeze out the water, this feels exactly like a bath sponge. Not like a loofah, but like, like a bath sponge. <laughs> it's so weird, it does not feel or look like a beauty blender at all, or like a typical makeup sponge. So I tried to get as much water out of it as possible. And let's see, let's see how this works. I'm gonna do half my face with the sponge and then half my face with the Rare Beauty brush. I actually used this the other day for the first time and I love this brush. It's such a good foundation brush. I like the shape of it. You can get like all up in the corners. So I'm gonna do half and half. And I already used this foundation, but I used it mixed with my NARS one. So I don't know how this looks on its own. I thought for a second that smelled like cupcakes, but it doesn't. 
I love this type of packaging by the way you can just like rub it on your face I know people are like oh my gosh foundation like that is not hygienic like you're rubbing it on your face and then putting it back in but it's like I do that with my concealer every day I feel like that's the same thing but I'm just gonna rub that in This foundation is looking a little bit dry on my forehead right now, but I think that has a lot to do with the fact that that primer isn't moisturizing. I need a hydrating, moisturizing primer every day. I need that moisture because my skin is just so, so dry, it needs it. But actually now that I buff that in, it doesn't look too bad. Actually, it looks pretty good. So this is what it looks like with the foundation on one side of my face. It's a really, really thin foundation, but I feel like it has medium coverage. There's a slight tackiness on the skin, but barely. And I feel like it evened out my skin tone really nicely. It covered mostly everything up. Let me zoom you in. I don't know how much you can tell, but it kind of looks like the foundation is just sitting on my skin a bit, on my forehead. But the rest of my face looks fine. What do you guys think? I know it's so hard to tell on this camera, but so far so good. I think it looks nice anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. It's such a thin foundation. This sponge soaks up so much product. Holy crap. And I noticed that when I was rinsing the water out, like so much water stayed in this sponge. I had to literally squeeze it with a towel so that all the juice can really come out. But it's a very, very wet sponge. So make sure you're really wringing out that water. But oh my gosh, that actually made my skin look really nice. <laughs> the sponge, I mean. It really sheared out the foundation, but it didn't take away that much of the coverage. You see how this side looks a little bit more sheer than this side? You probably can't tell. But I actually really like how it looks with the sponge. I'm gonna even things out on this side. I think if you want a lot of coverage, I would skip the sponge and go straight for the brush because this brush gives you like really great coverage. But I love how this looks with a sponge. Way more natural for me. I like that, okay, yay. I'm going in with the Rare Beauty Concealer in the shade 190W. I love this wand, by the way. It's such a cute little angle. You can get like right up in here. I don't know how much coverage this has, so I want to start off with a little bit. And then I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush to get that initial coverage down, and then I'll go over it with the sponge. I just want to lay this down first. I'm also dragging that concealer onto the lids to cover up any veins or redness. And then go in with the sponge. I have a Selena Gomez song stuck in my head, which is rare. I can't stop singing the song rare in my head as I apply all this stuff. So much getting older, burning toast on the toaster. My ambitions are too high. This concealer is very, very thin. I have been loving my Makeup Forever like full coverage concealer these days. So it is a bit sheer for me. I love sheer foundations, but I do like a concealer with coverage. But I did mix this in with my Makeup Forever concealer the other day and I did really, really like it. Kind of thinned it out a bit. So I'm definitely gonna keep using it as like a little mixer guy. I mean, it looks really good on its own. It's just more of your like day-to-day -day concealer. If you want something lightweight and fresh, you'll probably really like that. I'm gonna quickly apply some bronzer off camera. I'm going in with my Alamar Cosmetics bronzer. I'm also gonna add some of that bronzer to my crease just to give me a little bit of something and to set down that concealer, but BRB. Okay, so Rare Beauty doesn't have any eyeshadows or eyeshadow palettes yet. However, they have the Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner in the shade Black, and I'm gonna test that out right now. You guys know how good I am with liner. Oh, by the way, there's also a brow product in the lineup, but when I was swatching it on the back of my hand, it was super, super warm. It was like a red brown, and I know that wouldn't look good, so I didn't even attempt to put it on. So I'm just gonna dive right in. This is what the eyeliner looks like. Comes to a nice, sharp little point. Guys, I don't know what it is about this felt tip, but that was so incredibly easy to use. This just, oh my God, it's like leaking. My pen is like leaking in the, 
in the neck area here, but besides that, that went on so smooth. It was like, whoop. I really, really, really like that a lot. That was so easy to use. I wish it was a little bit more matte, but it was so user-friendly, I don't even care. It was so good. Okay, so really quickly, I'm gonna throw on my Kosa's mascara, and I'll be right back again. All right, eyes are done. I love that freaking eyeliner. But now I'm gonna put on something I've already tested out, and I freaking love this. These are the new Rare Beauty Cream Blushes, and the formula on this is really, really good. I used Joy the other day on my cheeks, and it was freaking beautiful. It's like a creamy matte formula. Not like, not like matte, but it's not dewy or shiny by any means. It's a really nice satin kind of finish that actually lasts a really long time. I wore this like all day, and I was really, really happy with it. So I am so excited about these. Like, oh, I love cream blush. I think I'm gonna mix two shades together. I already used Joy, so I don't wanna use that today. I think I'm gonna mix Happy and Bliss. I was gonna do just Happy, but that, that that's a little bit mush. So I'm gonna mix it with Bliss. Mixing that up. Ooh, I like that color. These are super, super pigmented, so you have to be careful. But it's so good. It's such a nice, creamy formula. By the way, if you're wondering what brush this is, it's the number seven from It Cosmetics. It's my favorite blush brush. It's not a blush brush, but it's my favorite brush to apply cream blush. And one thing to note about this blush, it dries really fast, but it still gives you room to manipulate the blush and really blend it out. It doesn't get patchy and it doesn't like stay there. Like it doesn't set in place too, too quickly. You do have room to mess with it. But once it does set, it stays in place all day. Okay, so that is Happy and Bliss mixed together and I freaking Love it! Such a good formula, guys. I would highly recommend checking them out. Okay, for highlight, we have more cream products to try out. These are the Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizers, and I am very, very excited. I really, really wanna test out this shade, but I know it's gonna be too deep for me, so I think I'm gonna pull another mixeru situation and get the perfect highlight. So I'm gonna take the shade Mesmerize and mix it with Enlighten and see what we get. Ooh, that made like a silver, like a silvery pink. Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna try that with a sponge because my fingers are a mess. Much better. Ooh, that looks really pretty with the sponge. It's so nice. I love that. So pretty. So glowy, so nice. I wouldn't normally pair this color highlight with this blush. I actually think this might look good completely on its own. I, didn't, I don't think I needed to mix it with that lighter color because I do have a tan these days. I think it would have been fine because I feel like I kind of see it now sitting on top of the blush, but it is a really stunning highlight and it dries. like touching my face and it doesn't feel tacky. It's pretty, I like it, I like it. Okay, and now we have another product that I tried out the other day and I fell in love with this. Like the first time I used this, I fell in love with it. This is the Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. I don't know what the 4-in-1 means, but it made my skin look so dewy, so fresh and luminous, but my skin didn't feel greasy. It didn't look like oily or overly dewy. It was really nice. Even though it doesn't have the finest mist in the world, like it could definitely be finer. It's not a super aggressive spray. It has like a strong skincare scent, like cream. It smells like moisturizer. It just makes the skin look so... <clears throat> right? While that dries, I wanna show you the lip products we have. So I used the clear lip balm earlier, but they have a bunch of different shades. They sent me these three, like a peachy pink, a raspberry pink and a brown and like I said these are the dewy lip balms and these are supposed to just add a touch of color while being really hydrating but then they also have the lip souffle matte lip creams which is basically like your typical liquid lipstick these days I'm definitely more of a lipstick sheer creamy shiny color kind of kind of girl you get me so I'm gonna put on one of the dewy lip balms but look how pretty the packaging of the liquid lipstick is so nice wait maybe I should do both I should layer them, yes. I heard you, you were saying that in your mind, weren't you? That's what I'm gonna do, but really quickly, I'm gonna pop on 
lip liner, BRB. Okay, so I just put on my Dulce lip liner from Alamar Cosmetics. And now I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Courage Matte Lip Cream. I know it's a completely different shade, but let's just go with it. Okay, so this is definitely more moussey and I mean, it's called a lip souffle. So I don't know why I thought like a liquid lipstick. It's definitely more moussey, but it still has a matte finish. And these kinds of formulas are more for like that blotted lip look because they're a bit more sheer than your typical liquid lipstick that's like full on pigment. These go on really soft. And then on top of that, I'm also gonna take another shade that doesn't look anything like this. I'm going in with the Dewy Lip Balm in the shade Thankful, which is more of a brown undertone. Actually, that looks very similar. Ooh, yes. I love me some dew. Oh, beautiful. I love that okay guys that's it that completes this video we tested out everything i got in the mail from rare beauty and i feel like this was a super successful video i really really love how this look turned out it's a really pretty everyday makeup look i feel like it's perfect for like school but also the movies or like dinner i don't know it's a really nice everyday look and I like it. <laughs> I'm really excited to see what else Rare Beauty comes out with. I feel like I really enjoyed everything. My top, top, top products would have to be the cream blushes, 100%. This foundation brush, really, really good. I love the shape of this. This freaking setting spray is amazing. Look how dewy my skin looks. And I know I had like a highlight and everything, but it just melts everything into the skin. And earlier when I was telling you that my forehead looked a little bit dry, like it was kind of sitting on my forehead, this completely took that away. My skin looks so dewy, so natural. I freaking love this, it's like my top product. And then I also really, 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 really loved the eyeliner. Mine is like leaking and the packaging is a little weird, but the formula is awesome. So yeah, those are my top favorites, but I still really enjoyed everything else. But yeah, that's it. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if you plan on picking anything up from Rare Beauty. What do you think about the brand? Leave me all your thoughts, all your rare thoughts below. But that concludes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so, 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 so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Freak like me you want a good girl that does bad things to you really quickly i'm gonna pop on lip liner brb ah, i just ran over my